Today we're going to do a quick review of the Harbor Freight 10x17 portable garage after three Michigan winters. My name is Mike Bowen with the Tractor Shed. Uh, appreciate you watching. Hit like and, and subscribe if you like these videos. So a friend of mine, I bought this to put some stuff in just because I was out of space. You can buy these for under $200. A friend of mine beat me up pretty bad. Oh, that thing's not going to last more than six months. Your stuff's going to be out there in the winter. You know those guys. So here we are after three winters. Um, I'm pretty impressed with it for under 200 bucks. I Let's think some of the it. biggest things to keep these things alive, um, remember they're just canvas, keep the snow off the roof, got to keep the snow load off it, um, and keep keep them everything tight um, and out of the wind. So the wind actually picked this up one time, I didn't have a batten down well, blew it across the yard, survived just fine. Right there is probably my my biggest pet peeve about these. That Velcro uh, that holds the door up. As you can see, it's already coming apart. Kind of on the cheaper side, maybe replace it. Um, but hey, it is what it is. So one of the questions you have maybe is how much stuff can you get in one of these? Well, check this out. We're we're loaded up. I've got two tractors. Let's take a better look. Here. Got a Ferguson TO20, an Alice Chalmers tractor, a bunch of bicycles. I've got a lawnmower with a bagger on it. I think there's a motorcycle back there. See that wheel? Lawnmower. So if you stack properly, you can get a lot of junk in one of these. Okay, this is this is another small issue with these, the, the pipes. They hold everything together once in a while, come apart. Um, I think we go through in the spring and just run some some solid bolts all the way through and some leg screws. So that's one issue. The other, another key to making these these portable carports survive: don't let anything rub on the edges. Don't don't get any rub rub parts in the uh, in the canvas. Once they start ripping, it, it's just going to shred. So keep them tied down tight. Keep the canvas tied down tight. Don't let anything rub on it. You'll, you'll get pretty good survival rate. Boy, overall, I would spend another $200 in a minute to replace this. The only drawback, again, I, I wish I wish it was about four feet longer. But hey, we can spend more money, buy bigger. Um, you can spend as much money as you want. So, 200 bucks, I think it's a great value. 